What up, Schmodown Rockers? Well, got two shows to keep episodes to catch up on. Uh, probably have another two next week since apparently we're going to be having the pay per view for the free for all and then the main event as well. And the main event being, of course, the corruption or the title match corruption versus. Which I don't think they're making that a pay per view, I don't think. I think they're going to let that be, make the Titans ones now more, more to the public and just have the separate little entities of like your free for all and all those specific th things be like pay-per-views and then eventually release them publicly, I guess the following day is what they, I guess they plan to do. I don't know anymore. Also, the news on Star Wars... <sighs> Unless so, unless it's a title match, it's not going to be public. But by that point, does anybody care about the title matches? Since they don't have anything really to go off of the build-up to it. Um, if you're going to have to, ha if those people that are going to be able to are hiding behind, behind a paywall. <sighs> I'm not as bothered by it because... I've lucked out with the Legacy being part of the 2021 Legacy tier, being the $10 tier uh, at that point in time, and just being godfathered in. So I'm still able to see these things and see the first half of Friday Night Titans early, which is what you'll wind up getting most likely. Or at least it'll save you most of the time. You don't have to see the first half until, and then, if until you join later. So, I mean, which works out better. I guess. You just see the main event with everybody else instead. But you know the undercard, which is usually what most people don't get to know until they see it on that day of, usually. So you're more ahead of time about everything and you already know most of what's gonna go on on Friday Night Titans, mostly. Or to have an idea. <sighs> but anyways, I wound up li like at this point. I wind up liking last week's better. The build-up that was set up for this week's, which I knew going into this week's, was gonna just be underwhelming in terms of that. To the point where I kind of figured that whatever they were gonna set up for the undercard is gonna probably be way wind up being way better because it's clearly set up for said new team, the appointment, to make a good run. Um. <sighs> And that's exactly, and unfortunately, that's exactly what that was. Uh, the good news, though, with these past weeks, before I get to that, though, for Brady, I mean, Kalinowski versus for Brady, at least wound up being a solid match, and surprisingly, Kalinowski did pull off the victory this time around, but it was, of course, there's the whole controversy of that that one question which I just whatever there was a rule about it and that's just how it is and I guess eventually it wouldn't have mattered who won Bateman was going to challenge them so we have that Kalinowski versus Bateman match down the pipeline um, which might be the following week after this title match maybe I guess they'll probably set up that match I guess We'll see. Um, we'll also see how the how the other match goes as well. So the previous match was we versus Sweet T Wiggins was fine. I was fine with it. Um, Jacoby almost caught it, but it just the five pointer didn't work itself out for him. And I don't mind the pairing that he him, of him and Riley at this point. Um, we don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna lead to more than just a management, and they might become a team. We'll down the road. We'll see. Um, uh, since Swag didn't have anything going to start with, I guess this season they they eventually had to have something, and I guess Clee kind of needed this win, or uh, at least this is a more a better win, I guess, of a more decorated type of player, I guess, in Jacoby, from what we gathered of last season. 
than what we got out of him. It's just a shame. Well, the good news is at least I don't got to worry about a Jack Black rip, a Black Jack rip off, Jack Jack thing with them. Because now, and especially now that we finally confirm Janine's gonna gonna have a new partner and her partner, I'm very happy with. And ah, oh. also the whole thing with the setup was good between with between Mike Shannon and the rest of what was the fan favorites. Um, the build up to the to the match we don't know what Gucci like the Gucci thing after the, what happened with this match with the database whom I'm told is named from a source that his actual name is Eric Chan. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Uh, for privacy purposes, if so, I'm sorry. But, um, just so you know, welcome to the dungeon. Also, getting to see a promo with my boy Smash, alongside Kaiser. It was great. I'm like, okay, dungeon time. Dungeon ball, let's go. What we got? And we got a team of Barbarian and Gold Leader. Which, they managed to luck out, get Star Wars, and for the most part, was... The fact that he got multiple choice, I mean, it's like, come on, Gold Leader, dude. You expect to now, like, at this point, I think they almost expect that... What's-His-Face ain't gonna be able to mount to anything unless Damon steps up this game and plays, like, just as lights out, if not more than he already did with, De with Demolanta. Because Demolanta, after that game, has not been has not reached as been as strong of a strong as he was in that first match. Um, clearly, because he wasn't able to beat. Um, well, now I'm forgetting with the Star Wars players, and that what's freaking sucks with that. But and it's, that's what's I'm also afraid is going to happen now because of this Patreon thing. I'm I'll probably start remembering once they start popping up on Wednesdays I think which is what what's gonna probably start happening now or they're gonna start that the next month I don't know either way or at least I thought I knew but I don't anymore I don't but I like what's going on here um with that I if they're trying to get me to hit the stars they're doing somewhat of a decent job even though I'm not too huge on hating despite how he, his interview was handled on this week's uh, rundown um, the whole Mr. Irwin thing has gotten a little out of hand to me but I mean I he's I guess at this point he's earned his spot with this heel turn I guess way more in comparison to some of the other heel turns that have happened involving the stars despite one of them just being because we kind of expected the spoiler, even though he's still called Slick Nick. He's the spoiler. I wish they'd admit to it, because they were able to have the Punisher be the Punisher still. What the fuck ever, Harloff. But I, that it's just that persona just under the Slick Rick name. Is really what it amounts to. Anyone who's seen FCL knows that. If uh, speaking of that, are we even going to get that? They haven't even announced that yet, or at least Brad hasn't yet. I don't know if his announcement is it's done. Which, if that's the case, what the fuck? What was the point of they even having it in the first place? Now, does this mean it opens up the doors for these other leagues, or is it because of the fact that now the Schmodown has lost its luster? Nobody else is going to care, and nobody's even going to care about these other leagues and all these other little things. Unless they just say fuck it and want to watch it. I don't know at this point. I still like, don't get me wrong, I still like, I'm still enjoying this mode, I'm still willing to talk about it. Clearly, or else you wouldn't be seeing this video. And I'm happy for Janine. I mean, that was like my probably one of my best highlights so far in this past couple weeks. Aside from, I guess, Kalinowski for Betty's match being good. And hopefully looking forward to Bateman versus Kalinowski too when that happens. Um, 
also getting finally them finally setting up what we all kind of expected we're officially gonna get corruption versus Shazam 3 with the stipulations said to where if corruption loses they can't that it's not gonna they're not gonna be able to be a team anymore which makes me wonder how are they going to do this? Which could open the doors to where it could be Kalinowski and the former champ possibly being a team. I could see that. If, unless for some reason Shanna decides to make a um, chance in her as a team. I don't know. If that were to happen. Uh, we'll discuss it more I guess once that comes to be but I I did not care as much for the appointment I mean don't get me wrong I'm going to try with the mask thing even though I'm starting to think it was a Harloff's Cho told him to do this and he just went along with it and Zipper's just like what the fuck ever <laughs> just being chill just his chill self at this point and just doing what he can to answer his questions I just feel bad because he's been through so many teams and yet still this happens with top dogs now Ugh. I guess they'll still be a team for a little while but at some point zipper needs well I think the problem was is that I think that team could have come back and reunited if they tried and I think it still could have worked I still think Oyama and that team could have honestly worked with loose cannons it's just that we had the shitty end of the deal because of how Harloff chose to set things up with what we wound up getting with the couple seasons we had, which allowed certain teams that should have, that honestly should have had more time to marinate and be, especially in now the current stasis, which I wish he'd try to bring some of those teams back. After bringing action, now people want to see all these other. And, and the Harris Brothers and the Wildberries back. Why not bring some of these other smaller teams that never had a chance to be back, back? You know? Hell, I miss Tom. I, I can't wait for Tom to make a return. If he's even going to at this point. I hope he does and I would love to see him dominate. Um. Huh. But, hell, better yet, I honestly kind of would think that Tom, if Tom comes back, I would kind of almost want to see him and Zipper. And it, they might actually mow it. That'd be, that'd be something. That's an interesting team. I don't, I don't, what do you think about that idea for a team? Leave it in the comments, or do you think that uh, Tom is also one of those types of secondary players? I feel like he's more primary top tier level teammate and zipper would be great for him as a good foil and given how he was with adam it would work similarly <laughs> it's just be and it would be something you know i think it would have worked um um but i also think looney looney bin needed to does need to make a return I think that's a team that should come back and be something and they can be but I understand Claudia Dolph and her being a team for now it, it's fine if we'll see how that team decides to go I think them and the the reckoning will probably be a team will probably wind up facing each other um or unless they wind up facing Zipper and Adam and the top dogs right now which doesn't real I think it's something to do with this cooking thing or something. But anyways, I and then I guess something's gonna happen to where he's gonna change up the teams and he they're gonna finally find their fifth member they need and that team. And so far, well, hopefully this team. So far, the database is proving. Per Thank you. You helped Janine, and I'm thinking this team maybe will finally do something for Janine and them getting those belts and her finally getting a belt of some kind around her waist I can't I'm getting tired of her not getting it her due diligence and I'd love to see, even it's more so see it on dungeon time and in teams or in singles at this point 
um, it, it's it's due time, guys, and I hope it's while she's playing dungeon ball. I I I want that. Um, I'm sorry this episode's been sporadic. You know, I just came back from like freaking Minnesota, uh, on the trip and everything, which is why I had to delay and talk about the recent Shimano matches. My matches with that. Um, also, like I said, Corruption versus Zam. I can't wait for that. Um, and for that, uh, I, I'm more hopeful that it's, that they. I'm more hopeful for Corruption this time around, but I don't. It's 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 an up in the air with this one. I don't know if they can get the job done this time. And if this match can be somehow even better than the last one. Which is going to be a high bar to set. You know? Since that one was in studio as well. Shame it didn't last as long as it could have. But it is what it is. But anyways. the um, Again, I'm not surprised the appointment's domination for the most part. I feel bad mostly for Zipper. I hope he gets a chance to to find an even stronger player to help elevate them as teams, which I which was Oyama, but you know that didn't get a chance to blossom and be fruitful because of some fluke thing with Franco with what happened with Franco and Stacey Howard, which of course, as the following match suggested, was a fluke thing. But they could have had a chance to still be around, I guess, if they moved moved up and were at least two and one. Or they would have been, and again, they would have been two and two, so it still wouldn't have mattered, even if they lost the, would have wound up losing to who's the boss, I guess. I don't know. But I do know. Well, I would love to have seen that, what could have been on that. But, sorry for taking too long, but yeah, there was so much to digest and talk about and what you what did I miss talking about at least what did you think of the matches and what we got from the storyline stuff also the guy think guys talk with them that confirmed a bunch of stuff I think was also a part of it which was a great setup in that as far as the and I think there was another thing which was I'm not gonna there was a Shannon Roxy thing I think in the in episode um seven but eh wasn't much to talk about it was just a weird interesting juxtaposition but there wasn't much to talk about it with that it just happened just a weird tables of turn turn of events kind of a scene but other than that what did you guys think of the everything leave a comment below let me know link the description to the dungeon page home of the future champs Future Teams Champs the System, Home of the Future, your IG champion, champion Kevin the Smasher Smets, as it should be. Me and the potentially future Star Wars champ in Nikki Dimolanta. I don't think they're gonna call her Demi. I think they're. I think Carla. I think Kaiser's got a better name for her. I. I like like she did for. With the Maverick. Which. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Who that fifth member is going to be. Um, and I'm guessing it might have to be a big time singles player as well. And I'm guessing. I think he's trying to keep David Del Rio in the pocket. Unless they do some surprise plan. Where the plan is to have him. Wind up pulling the same thing somehow. And going back to the den. And if that's the partner that Ben might have. And if that's the case, holy fucking shit. The den will be way more stacked than they deserve to be. Um, but I'm thinking that we have David Del Rio in our back pocket is who it is. If not, somehow maybe Chris Van Fleet might be rejoining. I, I don't know. Unless somehow Van Fleet does. And maybe they can make the two of them partners. And he winds up joining the, the den. I mean, it's probably not as interesting because he's still got to get his feet wet a little more if he decides to want to continue, but um, 
and he might, but I don't see him being able to pull the heel turn. So I could see him still staying in there. I'm hoping Del Rio is our fifth player so far, but... But we'll see. I'm, he'll probably be our good singles player. We need a singles player for sure, besides Janine and maybe Database. If we're, um, we have a Stars player, we have an IG player. Maybe a backup IG player or something wouldn't hurt either. I mean, Janine kind of serves as that, though. But she hasn't really played that much in IG. I, I don't know. We'll see with that. But anyways... Uh, that's most of my blahs of my thoughts on the on everything that's happened so far within the past couple weeks of Friday Night Titans and with the Patreon update. Up to a point. Now, what did you guys think of all that? Again, leave a comment below and let me know. If you like this video, write that like button with the rest if you must. Um, links to just uh, click, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get more on these and all my other things, including my more rock related videos, which I will eventually get to doing again. Don't worry for some of the more random rockers out there. It'll happen. And as always, guys, keep it random. Keep it real. Keep rocking. If you smell what the movie trivia showdown, showdown rocks, got better entertainment, so on and so forth is cooking. Ooh.